I'm Alois Rosario. And I'm Jeff Plum and we're from Ping Skills and today we're going to teach you how to play the forehand counter hit. Let's have a look at the forehand counter hit now. You'll notice that Jeff's starting position is always down beside him with his bat facing towards where he wants the ball to go. From there he comes forward, he hits the ball and then he finishes up near his right eyebrow each time. So there's three critical factors that you need to consider when you're learning the forehand counter hit. The first one is your feet position, the second is your start position and the third is your finish position. So your feet need to be square on or slightly side on to the table. Your start position needs to be at hip height next to you with the whole face of the bat facing towards where you want the ball to go. This is really important to develop a good counter hit stroke. The third thing is to make sure that when you hit the ball that you come up and finish at around near your right eyebrow. So, three factors for a great forehand counter hit. Feet position, start position, finish position. After years of practice, Jeff's forehand counter hit is really well grooved. You'll notice that it always starts in the same position and finishes in the same position. To play the ball faster, all Jeff needs to do now is to just speed up the stroke, get the bat going faster from the start to the finish. And if he wants to play it slower, he moves his bat through slower. By having this basic stroke, you'll be able to play the ball at any speed that you want to. So there are a couple of things that I often see players do when they're learning the forehand counter hit. One common error is that they swing too low. The second error is that they swing across the middle line of their body. So if you imagine a line right down the middle of your body, your bat doesn't need to go past that middle line at any stage when you're playing the forehand. So it can finish here, okay. it might even be able to finish here, but definitely you don't want finishing right across there because then you've got to come all the way back to your ready position. So think about the midline and don't go past it. Now you've learned the forehand counter hit, go to pingskills.com, learn the backhand counter hit and a whole lot of other strokes.